2010 Toyota Prius. Engine light is on, and the code is 261B. We don't care about the oxygen sensor yet. It's gonna need a bank one sensor one. But for this second fault 261B, that's what we're trying to diagnose. We just put a new trans in it. Um, I was gonna make it part three, but I don't think it's part three. It's a totally different um, fault. In any case, we're gonna uh, try to diagnose this fault. So according to according to the description, it says engine coolant pump D circuit malfunction. So this pump has two circuit. One is power and ground, and the second circuit monitors speed, not monitored, but it sends a pulse with modulated signal to the ECM. That's how ECM detects uh, if the pump is spinning or not. So the, the code is saying that something's going on with the circuit B. Um, it's got four wires. It's a dark blue, it's a thicker wire, and dark brown, it's a thicker wire. Dark blue is a power, brown is a wire, uh, ground. Then the smaller gauge wire, it's, uh, let me see, it's the communication from pump to ECM. And that wire, we should see pulse with modulated signal. And then the green wire, it's a constant, it's going to be 12 volt that goes into this power, uh, into this water pump. So I already diagnosed it, it's going to need a water pump, but uh, I want to make a video and uh, show it to you guys on the scope what it looks like. So uh, let's start off with power and ground first, and then we'll go to communication line. All right, so I set up the blue wire, that's for power, and the brown wire, that's for ground. So we're gonna check it with our test light. And we can, actually we can launch our scope as well. So let's do the test light first. So key on, engine off, a uh, key off, engine off. I have nothing, which is normal. So go ahead, turn the car on. Start. Yeah, go ahead, start it actually. Okay, so car started, and we have 12 volt. That's a constant power to the pump. As you can hear, the motor running. Now, we'll check ground too. How? We're gonna check ground since we have good power. To, to, to check the ground, simply what I'm gonna do. Can you look simply what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my test light ground, which is this, and I'm gonna put it on the water pump ground. It should light up. So my light lights up. So that tells me my ground is good. I'm loading the ground circuit along with the power circuit. So we have good power, we have good ground. So let's move on to smaller gauge wire. One's going to be constant voltage and the other one is going to be a pulse with modulated signal. Uh, let's see. Let me just show you guys on the scope. Uh, the power and ground. So let me fire up my scope. Okay, so uh, volt. Uh, um, so I'm on volt DC, and uh, we're gonna check our power and ground. So I'm gonna move my ground, put it here, and I'm gonna take my scope lead. My scope one lead is on the ground, and the other one's gonna go on the power. As you can see, I have 14 volts because key on engine off right now. It's a hybrid system. So I have good battery voltage. Now to check the ground, we can do the same thing. Move my scope lead and put it here and I should have 12 volt or 14 volt. And there you go. I have good power and good ground. So let's move on to smaller gauge wires and we'll show you on the scope what it looks like. Okay, so car is still on. I'm on the green wire right here. And that should be constant voltage, which I'm getting right right here, 14. When you turn the key off, this should fall. This should be close to zero volt. You want to turn the car off? Okay, so now slowly battery will, there you go. Just went down to zero. Now, we're going to go to communication line and we'll show you what the signal looks like. All right, so I'm on the communication line and let's look at the scope. There you go. 
the pump is sending command now that's how ECM detects it it's a 12 volt signal this is how the ECM de detects it that water pump is running or not the duty cycle and all that good stuff so the problem is the pump is bad over time you see the communication just went down so something's wrong with the pump and uh, we're gonna replace the pump on this and that, sh that should take care of the 26 1D fault. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there, I'm not sure. I thought I'd just post one up there. All right.